Hello everyone. Welcome to the first set of tutorials on SAP 2000 by Engineer from 6. In this video, we will look at grids in detail. In these tutorials, I will be using SAP 2000 version 16. Even though latest versions are available, I believe the core of the program still remains same. So the concepts we learn is still applicable. When we open SAP 2000 for the first time, we will see this screen. One of the important items is to select the default units at the beginning of, of the project. So by selecting that, you define a unit for the whole project. In this set of tutorials, we'll be using metric system. So I'll choose kilonewton meters as a default. So for example, if you click here, you, have, you can choose more, uh, different units as needed. So when you open a new SAP 2005, so we will create the file first and we have two options either to select a new model or to create an existing file. So in this case, since we are beginning, we will open a new model and then we can define or select a predefined models, a set of models from default models from here. However, in for these projects, we can use either blanks or grids. Uh, you can see here as well, you can select the project uh, units here as well. You will see this match up with this default value. So in this case, first I'll just create the blank file. So now it brings up a blank file. So to go into the grids, you right click and go and edit grid data. So that brings up to this uh, dialog box where you can define the grids. And there, by default, there is a global uh, system of grids which is defined. So we go here and modify. So now here we can define the grids. So the number of grids in the s direction, number of grids in the y direction, and number of grids in the z direction. So the directions are shown here. So x, y, and the z direction is vertical. So here we have to like input each values. For example. In the x direction 1 and we give the coordinate 0 meters we have to keep, it, keep that in mind so all the coordinates are in meters as per the default program units and the prime type primary uh, visibility show and the bubble at the end or start so you can either show the bubble at the end or start and you can have you have the option of show and hide this particular grid and again can select if it's a primary grid type or a secondary grid type you can toggle between both so they can you can go and multiply you can enter the points uh, manually however it's gonna take some time so what you can do here is you go well new model and you go grid only so by choosing that you can define the number of grids so you look at the grids here you have two different types of grids either Cartesian, Cartesian system or cylindrical uh, so we'll look, look into these two data types in detail later on so x so here we can define like a number of grids in the x direction number of grids in the y direction number of grids in the z direction and then we can define the grid spacing here and then so this spacing is going to be equal in between each grid so we, ha we have the option of changing the if, it, if the grid spacing is not equal we have the option of changing that later on and you can specify the first grid location here as well so this is kind of the coordinate the first grid coordinate so by default we go by zero 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 so that means the first grid location is going to be at the zero 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 point so to define this so we'll choose three number of grids in the expression four number of grids in the y direction and five in the z direction uh, we'll keep the spacing four six in the y direction and three meters in the direction so when you see this so all this by choosing the default units as meters so this is four meters and six meters and three meters and we'll say okay so now this has created so uh, the grid so when you go to this point here and look it look at the if you look at the coordinates here so 
so that's still 0, 0, 12 because we are at the 12th end so view 2d and we only show the plane as 0 so now we are at 0, 0, 0 so that's the beginning point of, of our grids so now you see in the x direction we got 1, 2, 3 grid lines and then 1, 2, 3, 4 in the y direction in the z direction you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as defined before and the grid staging as you can see it will be also as defined before so we can see the coordinates by hovering over these grid points so which will show the grid points in the right bottom corner now in order to modify the spacing for example if we do if you want to change the spacing in between to have two different spacing between the grid lines we have to right click and go edit grid data and this is the default grid system so you go modify and here you can change the spacing for example so now the coordinates here are in the x direction 0 4 and 8 so in this case if we want to have a 5 meter distance between grid b and c we insert 9 here so that means uh, 10 to be prominent so you have about 4 meters in between these two grids and um, 6 meters in between these two grids so while, while you make that mod change here you can see the difference is being reflected here it just shows in which direction the change is being made for example if I go back to 8 you can see it has equal 4 4 meters and now when you go to 10 you see this has increased uh, similarly there's another way of increasing this too so in this case we inserted the ordinates uh, of those points so rather than that you can choose to specify the spacing between the grids as well so in order to do that we go and select the spacing option here so in the y direction you can see that from between each grids your distance is six 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 meters so here you can go and choose four meters and that is eight meters so while i change these values you can see this also changes and one, one thing is when you go by spacing always this last number will be zero it's something to keep in mind so now i say okay and when you say okay so that whatever the changes we have made it gets reflected here now that we have defined the primary grid system we have the option of defining multiple grid system within one project so in order to do that we create it right click the right click and go to edit grid data and this global which is named as global is the primary grid system which you see here so we can define additional grid system so you go add new system and we call it um, 2d grid 1 so why you can name the way as you wish so what happens here is this is the 2d grid grid and the origin ordinates is going to be about zero zero and it can also be rotated about z axis so z axis is the vertical and uh, the coordinate system for the in sap 2000 is right hand coordinate system so i'll keep the zero zero and say okay so this opens up this different with uh, the de de defining um, table so we can see 1a 2a 3a this can be any um, words of your choice it can it can be the same as this too but if you can name this uh, differently you can differentiate later on so the coordinates i will say this is zero and the second coordinate is three and here I'll name this 0 and 3 again so I'm not defining the rest here so I'll just press OK and if I go modify you'll see it would have been automatically populated to the default uh, values so which is primary and uh, show the, the visibility is shown and also the bubble will be at the start 
in the end so we have to define this as well c1 so that means there's only one plane we are defining if you want we can add one more plane here to c2 at two meters so I press ok here so you'll see that's our secondary or the another grid system in the grid system we have the option of going and hiding the grids too so you can either hide the grid lines so if i choose to hide the grid lines you see the grid lines will be hidden then now i make it visible as well okay so it appears so when defining this particular grid system we define this as a uh, the rotation about of the grid system about this point was zero. If we wish, you can go and modify it as well. So you can modify and local system. And you can change the degree. So for example, 60 degrees. So the particular coordinates is grid system is going to be rotated by 60 degrees about this point. Similarly, if the ordinates of this particular grid has to be changed we can go and modify the origin as well so for example 3 3 so the ordinates will be 3 3 and then the z direction is 0 so it will be moved so this kind of uh, uh, orientation change will be helpful when we have a building which is oriented which has orientation two different orientation so having multiple grid systems within one particular model will be helpful. Now again, we'll go and define a, another grid system. In this case, let's choose 3D. So what happens with the 3D? The concept is still the same. So now you have the option of choosing the Z coordinate as well. So we can uh, increase the height for example by choosing to 3 and uh, by keeping the rotation the same so we have to define the naming can be the same And uh, distance can be 0 and 4, 0 and 4. So we'll have a three dimensional grid system, which is defined about this point, which is 3 meters above from the original. Uh, point we can go and modify as well as we wish for example we can bring it to origin by choosing zeros here similarly we can create a cylindrical coordinate system as well so we will create an add a new system for simplicity I'll keep this 2d And the coordinate is the same, and we can change this later on. Okay. And here we'll go for quick start, choose quick start, and we can we we'll have the option of choosing between Cartesian and cylindrical. I'll choose cylindrical. So here, number of grid lines along the radius four, and along theta seven, and uh, along the z direction five. so which is the vertical and uh, this is the spacing along the radius which is going to be six meters and along theta which is 30 degrees and z direction is going to be three meters vertically we'll keep the first grid location as by default as the default zero zero which is okay so which automatically populates the grid so you see here the number of grids in the along the radius four and seven in the theta 
direction and vertically 5 so which is 1 2 3 4 along the radius and 7 along the uh, theta the, the radially and uh, the vertical one will be shown in the 3d so I press ok so you see there is a to add a different coordinate system as well, a cylindrical coordinating system. So when you have to see the full view, you just click this, restore full view, so which will bring to this. So that's the way to define the cylindrical coordinate system. And in the same model, as we did similarly before, we can modify the cylindrical coordination loca coordinate locations by changing the location, for example, if I say 20. So it, the origin has moved from here to here. Similarly, we can go and change the angles. So now, one thing to note is here these numbers are in meters, and this is in degrees, uh, which is the radial distance: thirty degrees, thirty degrees, every few months up to one eighty. So we can modify the uh, degrees between two different grid lines here. And if we if need required, we can add more uh, with still, for example, 8 with uh, 210 can also be added. So we have another grid system, another grid line in a 210 degrees from the horizontal line. So, um, so that's the way to define a cylindrical coordinate grid system. Uh, thanks for watching the video uh, and if you like the content please like and uh, subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified once new uh, videos are available.